हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर संजीव गुलाटी प्रिंसिपल डायरेक्टर नेफ्रोलॉजी एंड किडनी ट्रांसप्लांट फोर्टिस ग्रुप ऑफ हॉस्पिटल्स दिल्ली टुडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट हाउ टू रिड्यूस योर सीरम क्रिएटनिन एंड दिस इज अ मिलियन डॉलर क्वेश्चन दैट ईच एंड एवरी किडनी पेशेंट इज लुकिंग आउट फॉर नाउ इफ यू गो इन टू द सोशल मीडिया देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ पीपल दैट आर देयर one will tell you that it is impossible to reduce serum creatinine and the others which are mostly quacks will tell you that there is no problem at all they can make your serum creatinine normal please stop all allopathic medicines and as always the truth lies somewhere in between uh, the answer is yes you can reduce your serum creatinine to certain extent if you follow the nine steps nine principles that i am going to tell you but if you have chronic kidney disease it's literally impossible to make your serum creatinine or to normal so first of all it is always better to talk in terms of egfr or which is the percentage kidney function rather than serum creatinine because the same serum creatinine means different levels of kidney function in different individuals so in 2024 you should be asking your kidney doctor what is my egfr what is my percentage kidney function and this is what we as the kidney specialists or nephrologists world over are recommending so the first step that you need to take is good blood pressure control if your blood pressure stays high it is literally impossible to reduce your serum creatinine several studies over the last 30 years have shown that if you are able to control your blood pressure which means blood pressure between 120 to 130 systolic then the kidney function is better preserved number 2 if you are a diabetic then good blood sugar control so because diabetes nowadays is the commonest cause of kidney disease worldwide so good diabetes control using lot of modern medicines that are there you know which have advantages beyond uh, just controlling sugars and i'll come to that number 3 one of the hallmarks of a kidney disease is protein leakage and that is assessed by urine albumin creatinine ratio so reducing the protein leakage again adds life to years of these kidney patient and years to life so you should use medicines like ace or arbs which we can use for blood pressure control and nowadays we have other medicines available namely sglt2 inhibitors we have told you about this medicines in my other videos uh, then we have um, another recent medicine called phenylalanine which we have been using in diabetics so good blood pressure control and sugar control and reducing the protein leakage will again you know prolong the life of the kidneys and it will help you in reducing your serum creatinine stabilizing your kidney function improving your kidney function number 4 is stop smoking if you are a smoker because smoking uh, is you know the worst form of poison for the kidney as uh, nicotine causes uh, re reduction of the blood flow to the kidneys again i have said this in lot of these videos that um, you should be stopping smoking otherwise none of the other medicines i am going to tell you now the steps is going to work number 5 is that you we all always give a small dose of sodium bicarbonate which is baking soda in which is available in each and every indian kitchen uh, so if you use that the acid level that is there in the blood gets neutralized and very good scientific studies have shown that the life of the kidney increases number 6 is you know targeting the uric acid levels some of you might be having high uric acid levels and if you reduce the uric acid levels by uh, you know using these drugs which uh, which is uh, like febuxostat allopurinol you know that the kidney function improves number 7 we have another group of drugs called keto analogs and keto analogs again if used appropriately provided you follow all other steps uh, they have improve kidney function number 8 is you know and one of the most important factors causing worsening of kidney function is infections so you have to protect your yourself against infections and that is a very simple process get yourself vaccinated so that you don't develop infection in the first place because every infection causes increase in the serum creatinine 
whether it's a UTI, whether it's a pneumonia, and you can prevent more of most of these infections. And number nine, and perhaps one of the most important, is the role of diet in kidney disease. Studies have again shown that if you take non-vegetarian diet, you know, the acid load increases and thereby the serum creatinine increases or the kidney function worsens. A vegetarian diet is the best form of diet for kidney disease, but I am not asking you to stop all protein intake because, you know, then uh, you are losing protein, your body will get depleted of protein, you will develop infections which will call worsening of kidney function. And that is what the alternative therapy practitioners do because protein uh, metabolism creates creatinine. If we reduce the protein artificially to a very low level, uh, then your creatinine will co come down. But we do not, I am not asking you to do that. I am asking you to take vegetarian form of protein. The amount of protein is about 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 grams per kg per day. At least that is the minimum you should be taking. Uh, you can take eggs. Uh, fish is also a bit kidney friendly, but I would ask you to stay away from red meat and uh, also take chicken in moderation. And if you follow all these nine steps, uh, you know, your kidney function uh, is going to actually improve and I will share with you now a case here uh, where I will show you uh, in that real life case that I have been managing for the last couple of years how the kidney function improved. So now we shift over to, to the case. 50 year old gentleman starts from 27 December 2022. You know, when he came to me with a serum creatinine of 1.8 which means a percentage kidney function of 43 0.23 and we put him on medicines good blood sugar control he was not a diabetic we added medicines to reduce his protein leakage and as you can see the last follow up is of january 3rd 2024 so from december 2022 with the kidney function of 43.2 percentage kidney function serum creatinine of 1.8 his serum creatinine is 1.2 which is near normal which means a kidney function of 73.7. So that is what you can achieve. This is a real life case that I have been managing and uh, if you follow all these steps uh, you will also achieve similar kind of results. And if you like my video uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and uh, so that we can you know educate you from time to time about uh, the newer uh, advances that are happening in the field of kidney diseases. Thank you.